All right, peoples, this is another Stone Block 2 episode. And unfortunately, guys, we didn't, uh, we, we don't have enough materials to, uh, to really justify putting the vibrant capacitor banks because these things are freaking expensive, man. Um, I'd like to get some automation going before we try to tackle those and really get into um, getting our resources automated. But today, guys, we're going to be working on this big hole. Yeah, as you can see, I cleared it out. Uh, I have a little bit of work left to do on it. Um, I also went ahead and installed long fall boots because I could not stand the bouncing and it was um, like editing the video uh, wasn't doing very good. I get, like all the bouncing and stuff like that. It just, I'm, I got nauseous from it. So I installed long fall boots, which is literally just the long fall boots. That's all it added. And uh, now we're good. So all I do is I walk off this edge and nothing happens. So we also have our jetpack here. And uh, I figured out we are generating about um, 1,200 uh, RF per tick right now. And I tested that out by throwing the charger in here and then pulling it or throwing the jetpack in here, pulling it out real quick and letting this thing build back up. But it's about 1,200 RF per tick. So we need to definitely improve that. But in order to do that, uh, if uh, in order to do that, we need to get into reactors. And if you guys notice that this room seems to be quite big compared to what we have in there, that's because our reactors are eventually going to be in there. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get started down here today, guys. I have a few uh, material stonework factories ready. Let's see. Yep, I want a total of four. And then we need some auto sieves. Auto sieves right here. Perfect. Oh, you can change you can just change it by doing that. That's pretty neat. Okay. So we just need a total of four of these as well. And this is going to be for dust because we need gold and redstone, like a lot of it. So let's go ahead. I got the conduit on us. I also have the power. Uh, we don't have a, a way to get uh, items into our storage system yet, so we're going to be working on that too in this episode. So over here, I like to space these out pretty evenly. These are going to be four little separate nodes. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we'll go seven into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this block here. Let's go ahead and mark it. And then we're going to come in a few blocks. So one, two, three, four. That's where the material stonework factory is going to be. So let's do that over here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mark it. And then there was a two block gap. Okay, so that's there. And these are directional, so we'll have to, well, we'll see about where we want them pointing. And then here, let's come from the middle. Let's just go straight out to about where these guys are. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're going to come out one block gap from each of them. And that's how we're going to do this. So let's go ahead and rotate this guy. And this is how all of these guys will be, so it would be pretty neat. Uh, auto sieve. So... Place it like this, place it like this, and then let's see, is it like this? Yeah. What is the odds of getting two of these people, two of the same people? Oh, and if you, if you guys are wondering how I have night vision, by the way, I have this vision helmet here. The recipe is super simple. It's uh, two pieces of amber and some glowstone. And so I threw that on, and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, that's how you turn it on and off. Wow, that's really cool. So no night vision, night vision. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to run some cables up here like so. And these are going to be in the back. Just like that. And the cool thing is we could literally, that like we only need two blocks for this. It's uh, it's super duper cool. So let's go ahead and break this block. I love Ender IO because you can make machines so pretty. Okay, so we can literally go out of here, sift the sand or the dirt and then, or not the sand, but the dust and then go back down. So this is where these will be going. Okay. 
I'm gonna get down here and we're gonna make a little room. Do I have my hammer still on me? I sure do. I'll come this way a bit. Come this way. Just do that. Okay, so this should be the furthest one. Yep, sure is. Okay, so now we know where everything is at. Cool. Go ahead and clear out some room for it. Just like so. Okay. And this is where we will link all of our stuff together. Very cool. I'll, I'll need to break that. I didn't think that through all the way. So here's that one, and here's this one. Okay, cool. I'm excited. Okay, I don't think that's lined up right, actually. Oh, it is. I just I don't understand what the issue is with this one. Okay, no worries. Let's just bring all of these pipes down. Uh, actually, we're going to run these across the roof like this. And that way, each of these will get power. Okay, so cool. Cool beans. I mean, I, oh yeah, it does line up good. Okay, and we're gonna take the middle, which is right about here. I think it's this one. And can't go that way, so let's go, let's just go right here. Boom. That's power, select network, your turtle power, no transfer limit, put that back. And we don't need that block, uh, this there, these are pulling. We don't need to insert any power. These are just pulling out, and those should be running. Let's go up here and have a look. Yep, each of these got power. Uh, they're trying to sift something, so that's pretty neat. Okay, so these are all going to be dust, so let's go ahead and do that. Yep, okay, good. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're gonna take all of the crap out that we don't need in these guys. Okay, good, let's go ahead and configure this up. So we're gonna be pulling out on green, right? Yep, it's gonna be inserting on green here, and then we're gonna be extracting on brown. Yep, oh, why is sand going? Um, disable. We gotta disable all these. Get the sand out of there. Okay, mesh goes in there. Perfect. Okay, and let's go ahead. I'm gonna disable all of these, and I'll be right back. I didn't know I needed to do that. All right, we're gonna need an access like panel down here because we need to take our uh, all of our items out now because we've gone ahead and set all of the stuff up up top to pull out. I'll go ahead and show you guys here. So let's take a look. And if we look here, so it pulls out on green and then in inserts on green and then extracts on brown. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to set up a auto compressor at the bottom of each of these. Just like so. And can you not insert into that? Oh, you can. You just need to update it, I guess. That's weird. Okay, we'll just update all of these. And so these will insert on on brown. And then we're gonna set the priority to one. So that way, there we go. Insert on brown, priority one. Insert on brown, priority one, there we go. Insert brown, priority one, perfect. So as soon as these get taken out, yep, okay, so all of our stuff's getting in here that's gonna get compressed. And then things that can't, we're gonna have an export chest for a buffer. Let's go ahead and get some chests up. Okay, how many chests do we have? 
We have a few. Do we have any glass going? We do. Check that out. Look at that. Oh, that guy almost prepared. Who would have thought? Super Turtle prepares what? Not that one. This one. Okay. Each of these are going to be kind of like that. It's going to have two imports on each one. Let's see here. We need to um, hmm. if we have these like this. Okay, our access point just changed over to here. Let's go ahead and fill that in. So it's the same. Okay, so we need to go here like this, but it needs to insert on brown. We're going to set a priority of negative one here. So anything that can't go in here will be pushed into here. And then we'll put, we need to disconnect that. Uh, shoot. Wait, can I do it with a, I don't have a wrench on me. Or a crescent hammer. I don't know if the crescent hammer is even going to work. I keep getting like more crescent hammers. I don't, I don't remember crafting them. It might be from the, okay, that works. So we're going to be extracting, or sorry, not, we're going to be extracting on brown. And this will be inserting on brown. Okay, so now we have all of our compressed items and everything's going into here, including block of redstone, all of that. So this is the, uh, that's where everything's going perfect. So very, very simple to make, right? So insert on brown. Set this priority of negative one. So anything that can't go in here goes into there, just like we did before. We're going to break this. And then we're going to extract on brown. And then we're going to insert on brown. We don't have to worry about priorities with that. Does that make sense? So check it out. We're getting all of these cool items now. Look at that. We already have a block of redstone in this one. This thing is working. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to do this to all of them, and then we're going to work on getting items into our system itself. It's probably going to be right here like an ender chest. All right, guys. So I have two ender chests here, which is great because now we can work on getting all of our items put into this chest. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any cool uh, looking things. So let's just go like this. I don't want it to kind of poke into the walkway. I mean, we're not going to be down here very often, but when we, we do for like maintenance and stuff like that, uh, or if we need to check something, I want to be able to have ease of access. Okay, we also need to disable that. Boom, like so. There we go. Perfect. Go here, do the same thing, disable that. And then because this is on its own separate network, we can just go ahead, or not really its own separate network, but it's on its own like storage network or cable network, if that makes any sense. And we can just disable or enable those. We don't have to worry about switching them to a different color or anything like that. Cool. So let's see here. Oh, we need to switch these to insert. So those ones will be inserting. And those will be inserted. And boom, shakalaka, we have it set up. It is 100% set up. Very cool, very cool. So that's all of the system. If we want to do any auto processing down there, which we can, which I think we should strive for, we need to intercept. Um, we need to get some pulverizers made up. I don't have any pulverizers. Uh, let me make a pulverizer and a furnace, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we do have all of the stuff we need right now. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this set up. So I would like to uh, have it so it auto uh, doubles. So let's go ahead and we'll just break this guy. This is the export for here. Uh, and then pulverizer. So we're actually going to need to set it up. So that this inserts on brown with a negative priority. This inserts on brown with a positive priority. And there we go. So that way it will it will see if uh, I'll pull out here. And if it can't go into here, uh, like if it can't be smelted. Oh, shoot. We're going to need to blacklist everything here. 
are here. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to get a filter. So we can only like we need to get redstone, all that stuff out of there from doing it. Um let's go ahead. I have a bunch of dust here. I'm gonna take a full stack. I'm gonna go break this down so I can make the proper filter for this thing. Uh, that way we know what materials we get out of it and what uh, ores and ore chunks we get. So that way we can whitelist those to go into the compactor. And that's how we're going to have to do it. Because there's no other way to do it uh, now that I think about it. Unless we were to get super technical and I don't know if it's worth it or not. Okay, so... Filter. And we don't need the advanced one because we don't have that many items. It's just a hopper surrounded by paper. That's not bad. Do I have paper though? Ooh, sugar cane. Ooh, we're running low. I got sugar cane seeds. I think we have enough for it. We just need four of these. Okay, we do have enough. Perfect. Filtering for dummies. So what we're just going to do, we're going to go here like this. It's going to be a filter. Let's check out the filter. Okay, so whitelist nickel. Silver. Gold. That's it. So just these three things we're gonna whitelist. And these are the only things allowed into here. So if they're these things, these bone blocks, nickel, we can go in there because as soon as this gets smelted up, it's gonna go into our furnace and then it's gonna get back into the system. Oh shoot, I should have done that. I broke it. So this is going to extract, and this is not going to do it. Okay, good. We need to get power to that as well. That'll be simple. We just run down over there. Okay, and then let's, I'm going to go ahead and add the filters to all these other ones, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the system we have here. Uh, so it uh, we're filtering what comes into here. Then we're extracting out the front and putting into the top of our pulverizer, which, as you can see, and that will smelt it down or break it down into two, and then the two get smelted up, and then they come over here, and they get thrown into this chest. Now, as of right now, we don't have any systems of getting the, uh, well, we could, we could do applied energistics. We can get an, an import, um, import bus, but I need to go down there. I need to fix up all of those or get, uh, two more redstone, uh, redstone furnace, I furnace and, uh, and then get two more pulverizers. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to be working on the storage for everything. Um, we're going to be doing both of those in this episode today. So automation and storage for it. So I'll be right back when I have that done. All right, guys. So these are all set up now. They are working hundred percent, uh, getting double ores, all of that going right into this ender chest. But guys, if we, th if we were to throw this in, it'd be bad. If we were just, uh, like automatically put that in, we would fill up our chest so fast. If we went AFK, it wouldn't even be funny. So we're not going to do that. We're going to be a little bit smarter. Uh, we also won't need to do any of that. I'm going to take all of these guys out because we don't need them anymore. Uh, all the blocks should be out of there as well. And now we should just be getting everything we need. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw those in there. And I wasn't able to actually upgrade two of them because there's not. A, I don't have enough gold, which we will get sooner. Uh, but let's have a look here about getting maybe some uh, drawer... We want to get these ones here, these frame drawers. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go at storage drawers. And this is what we're going to be working with now. Uh, so we want just every one of them to have their own. Let's grab a bunch of sticks. We have a bunch of sticks in here. Okay. We got all the sticks that we need for a bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys up and working. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we need to pick a block that will look good. Um, let's see, so it's gonna be next to that. So any block that we pick that we like, let's see, does it look good next to this? Hmm, so this is gonna be like a strip and it'll be nothing. I don't know if those two go together very well. I think we need a darker block, like uh, like Skystone. Maybe the face of that would look good. We also need to make this framing table, uh, which you make like that. We can make a, 
perfect. Now this is where we're gonna be uh, editing these uh, basically blank guys. So they're there and we can add whatever we want on top of that. So to get Skystone, which is my preferably my favorite, uh, we need to grab the Skystone dust. And we only need, we only need a, a few of these for now. Uh, we also need to grab a bucket because we don't need water on that for right now. A bucket, just like it is. Okay. Go here, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna click that. This is gonna fill up with lava and then we're gonna click on this. And this will give us a sky stone. And we can automate this in a future, but for now we're just gonna hit, the, hit it like this because we only need an, like X amount of items stored. Okay, so we're gonna be, let me set up this one first since we just did it. Oh, we could correlate what's in here to what's here. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. So gold, nickel, platinum, and then silver should be there too, but that'll be okay. So gold we'll put here. Uh, nickel we can put here. Oh, silver, perfect, here we go. And then we're gonna put platinum there. So that will store all of those items because it's beautiful. And to link these up, um, I think we're going to have, so I don't want trim here. I want that to be the capacitor. I think we're going to have trim here on the inside to join them up together. So let's see. Spruce trim. Perfect. There we go. I like it. We have 14 of these guys. Let's go ahead and get these smelted up and I'll show you guys what we're going to make. Okay, so we can also change the border. Do we have another, like a green block at all yet? I don't think we do. We can make emeralds, an emerald block. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so how many items do we need? We need one. Here, sort this out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine total of these. Okay, so we need nine emerald blocks. Yep. Boom, that's how it's gonna look. Uh we'll we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh actually I don't I don't think I wanna do that. We can do that. Yeah. So like this one will be green, this one will be blue, this one will be red, this one will be yellow. That's how we're gonna do it. Because I think that's pretty neat. Okay, are you done, Smilton? Yep, yeah, sure are, perfect. So here we go, let's make a total of nine of these, beautiful. So, okay, so the top one isn't gonna link, unfortunately. We need to make some more trim. That's okay. <gasps> no, we shift clicked on it. Oh, man, sucky. Okay, uh, we need some more trim. Ah, uh, that ruined a bit of that, but oh well. Got some more trim, perfect. Uh, that will be there. I don't know what we're putting on the back side because I don't think we're gonna need that much storage. Um, well, let's go ahead, we're gonna clear out We'll keep the dev. No, we don't need the hammer, the buckets. Don't need that. We do need this guy. I don't need any of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That. Okay. And then we're going to take all of these items. All right, we're just going to take one stack. And we'll call that good. We'll also take this. Okay. So we'll do. Actually, redstone can go here. And so can glowstone. Gunpowder cannot. Uh, I don't want charged certus quartz here. Dust there. Certus quartz. Blaze powder. Bone meal. Let's see. And then this guy. Okay. So let's make a drawer controller. Drawer controller. This guy here. I made up one earlier. Like this, there we go, perfect. So that's good to go, drawer controller. Now we need to go to applied energistics and we need to have two buses made. That means storage bus and then we need an import bus. 
So ME storage bus, just like this. Let's go ahead. Ah, I gotta do some crafting, be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and made up an ME storage bus and I'm gonna show you guys how cool this thing is. So because we are eventually going to be putting uh, our applied energistic system here in the middle, I figured I would just run this to the middle here and I hope I have enough. I think I do. I might. Maybe let's just break this block. <gasps> okay, Obakibi. And boom. <gasps> yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, it turned off. And so we do see this here. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to, uh, because there's going to be capacitor. Hmm, how are we going to do this? I think we're going to have to make an exception on the back side here for like one block or two. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Okay, so let's grab a conduit. Like so. I've also gone ahead and changed up the channel. This one, because this is going to be the green area. I went ahead and made this a green channel, if that makes any sense. I feel like I had to. And boom, that should be auto-putting into our storage. And we can go like this, and now it looks normal. Very, very cool. Look at that. It's already putting items in. We should have some speed-up areas in here for it. We do. I'm going to take three of these and then we're going to put them into this chest. That way this chest won't, won't get backed up for a while. And then we're going to make some upgrades. We're going to put them on all of these. And this is going to go up a lot, like probably all the way up to the top. That's where we put our storage. But I wanted uh, the down here to be all of these items. And so if you, if you look, we should be able to see all of our stuff now. Yep, we're getting gold nuggets. Getting redstone, so I'm gonna put some upgrades on these guys off camera. But that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure the like button is always. Don't forget to subscribe. But guys, I'm Super Turtle, and thank you for joining the Turtle Club or being a part of the Turtle Club. And I'm uh, I'm glowing. So anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye bye.